Hello, everyone. Come on in. Let me get you guys brought up here so I can see. What's going on here? So I know there's been some confusion on the whole name change thing and it has been eesh, just making me crazy. My OCD just goes nuts when things don't work out the way that they should. But hey, let's get real. That's been, you know, our life the last couple of years. And it's been tough because you know, here I am trying to, you know, start a business and then things with, you know, domain names. I don't know anything about that. So when you're creating a blog, which blogs, what? Who knew that they were kind of complicated? Um, so that was, you know, a thing, but I learned it. I figured it out. I conquered that challenge and put myself in a situation that I don't like to put myself in. I don't like, I, not to say that I don't like challenges, but you know, it's out of my comfort zone. I, I had to like step out of my norm and create a blog. Well, for some reason, this is saying, let me try to get back in here. see what is going on here so I've changed the the name of my company um, it's it's just been kind of one of those things I I tried to buy the stamp and side-by-side -side, uh, domain it uh, popped up with all these things that everybody owned all these uh, like card things let's see if because for some reason, I am not able to bring myself up on. Let me see if I can do it on my iPad. Because I am not coming up on my computer. So I might have to stop this and start over again. Oh, no. It looks like it's working. It just didn't want to work on my computer. Oh, well. I guess I will move the computer and put it away because we don't... I don't need to have that up here. Make sure my iPad's turned down, though, because I don't want to hear myself on echo. Lord only knows we only need to hear me once. <laughs> <clears throat> so the blog has... And the, the Facebook, you've all seen the name changes, blah, 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 blah. Get back into this. Um, it is, oh, so Facebook, grr, I'm just, I'm frustrated with Facebook. Today, my OCD drove me nuts. Um, the name I want is Stampin, S-T-A-P-I-N, all one word, okay? It's together. In, okay, Stampin, the pink barn okay that's it and for some reason when I put that in to change the name on Facebook it separated the word stamp and the word in and now I have two separate words there well it's supposed to be stampin like when you read the word stampin up it's all one word s-t-a-p-i-n that's what I wanted was stampin the pink barn so that's the blog name that is also my Pinterest um, page name. That's when I send emails out to customers or when you receive catalogs. That's the name that's going to be on everything. So, and I've already bought the domain to that. So, that being said, I'm frustrated with Facebook. But, oh well, you know, you get over things. So, as we move on, it's just another day. And, and when you, you know, when you're building a business... 
it's just, you know, you have to take the bad with the good, you know, and you just, you got to laugh it off because otherwise you will make yourself nuts. And I can't do that to myself. <laughs> so we're moving on. We are going to make some super, super cute cards today. Okay. They're going to be posted on my blog. They're not on there yet because we haven't made them yet. Um, it does take me a little bit to take the photos, do the editing. My mom was here yesterday and she was watching me do all this stuff. And she goes, holy moly, you know, you don't realize what goes into all this stuff to, to just take a photo of a card. You know, I have to put a watermark on it so it shows that it is, you know, my my card and it's putting my name on it to show um you know what's going on so you know over on the blog it's called stampin s t a p i n all one word the pink barn dot blogspot dot com okay so that's that's the um that's the blog where you're going to see the pictures and the dimensions and everything of these cards. I did write down all the dimensions today. I will tell you them while we're in the middle of this video. If you're catching this on the replay of YouTube, please subscribe. That helps me tremendously. If you're watching here live on Facebook, smash those like buttons, smash that heart button. The, that helps the algorithm of Facebook. So my videos get seen by more people. And that's kind of what we want when you're starting, you know, a new business and you're starting things up for yourself. You want yourself to be seen. Not that everybody wants to see me, but hey, it's okay. It could be worse, right? Um, also, what else did I want to tell you? Okay. Um, I have a new host code. That's the other thing I wanted to bring up. You'll find it on the right-hand column of my blog. It's there. Just hold on it, copy it. And then when you're done with your purchase, you will then go in and uh, um, down at the bottom, after you hit checkout, you can go down and hit uh, that host button and then just paste it in there when you're done. You being my customers is what brings free videos to you guys and helps me, you know, pay my bills, keep this stuff going for you. Um, the other thing is, is do not, do not, do not use that host code if your purchase is over $150. And this is over $150 before tax and shipping because Stampin' Up! is going to give you rewards, and I want you to have those, and I want you to be able to use them. And don't forget, we're almost out of celebration, so right now is the best time for you to be spending your money, because you're going to be earning free product. And I'm going to show you um, some more things tonight that you can earn free. Uh, Stampin' Up! has never done this before, but um, this year, because... Why not? Everything's been so different and crazy, <laughs> you know. Um, they are doing a second celebration. Normally, we have it for from January to, I believe it's um, March. I think we have it for three months. But this time, we're only having it for the two months. And then they're going to bring it again later during summertime. I want to say July, June, somewhere around in there, June, July, is they're going to... Um, bring it back. So then you'll have more opportunity then to earn free product as well. So let's spin you guys around. Please shut your eyes so you don't get sick. And we are going to make some super cute cards. Oh, and don't forget, I you got to let me know because you know how I am. I'm kind of scatterbrained. Um, I have some other cards that I have made as well that I want to share with you guys. Um, and I've joined my first card swap with my fellow demonstrators. So I am in the middle of getting all of my swap cards made and holy Mary mother. Let me tell you this swap, I think has probably been one of the biggest ones. And of course that's the one that I had to join, but I, uh, joined it and I think we have like, Ooh, I think we're at like 18, 19 and we still have 
you know, until the 17th that people can still sign up for this. And this is, like I said, just between me and my fellow demonstrators. Um, but I have to make myself, I have to make like 18, 19, 20 cards, all of the same card. So I'm kind of in this mass production of making these cards. But when I get my swaps that I swap with my other demonstrators, I'm going to have a great share with you guys and show you what we've all came up with. The challenge or the theme that we have to make cards for is spring slash Easter. We can do either one. So I, I, I think my card's kind of cute, but I'm, I'm a little prejudiced towards my own card making, but okay, anyways. Um, so let's spin you guys around and shut your eyes so you don't get sick. Motion sickness can be real. Okay, there is the name of once I can get it fixed on Facebook, because like I said, and I posted it, that it takes seven days for Facebook to let me change my name and to fix it, even though it was kind of, well, I don't know. I guess I can say it was my error, whatever. Um, but there's the new host code. So if you go to Stamp in the Pink Barn, um you can go click that shop button and you can look at all the cards that we've made. You can actually click, I give you a call, I call it the ingredients. Um, you can click on those pictures of those ingredients and it will take you right to my store. And like I said, use this host code right now. This will probably be running um, through probably the first week of March and then I'll start a new host code. All right, let me get my drink popped open here because I know I'm gonna get talking and I'm gonna need a drink. And I hope you guys grabbed a drink. All right. So the first card. Hi, Patty. How are you? I'm glad you could make it. Oh, it has been a frustrating couple of days. All right. So let me show you what we're using for this first card. Okay. Are we frozen? Thank you guys for smashing those like buttons. I need those hit. That, like I said, that helps with the algorithm of Facebook, getting my video, you know, shared with other people. And, and it just makes it kind of, you know, be seen by a little bit more. Okay, so we are, this set right here, this Berry Blessings, along with the, this is called Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper, come together as a freebie in celebrations this is a hundred dollar so once you spend a hundred dollars in product you will receive you i mean you can pick this you can pick whatever you want but this is if you spend a hundred dollars you can get both of these things together okay this is in our actual uh mini i call it our jj mini which is our january to june um new mini catalog this is in there and it coordinates beautifully with this berry blessings also we have the strawberry builders punch that coordinates so if you look at this here this cuts out this strawberry this cuts out the little stem of the strawberry you've got some leaves and the neat thing about these stamp sets is they're kind of like a watercolor and you'll see when I do a couple things when I show you some cards that I've made with these um they have this watercolor, so it's kind of that two-part stamping that I've kind of explained on the blog um, with some other stamp sets, where you would stamp this down in a darker color or the same color that you're going to use, but you do it first generation, then this one, you would do a second generation stamp. So when I say second generation stamp, that means I would do it fully in my pad, stamp off on a piece of scrap paper, then now stamp on my stamped image to make somewhat of a light contrast of the same color that I've just stamped that in, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to be using those two sets. And then the Oh So Ombre is this gorgeous paper pack that is also in Celebrations that is a, um, you can get with a $50 purchase of product. This is a $50 freebie. 
So you've got your Bermuda Bay, your Granny Apple Green, and see how that does that ombre? You can see it here. And then it does the ombre with the little circles. And then if you flip them over, oops, let me move this back here. You've got uh, Blackberry Bliss. Is it Blackberry Bliss? Yep, Blackberry Bliss and Rococo Rose. So our 2019-2021, uh, I think that's what that is, um, is going, colors are in color, or our past in colors, they're still an in color, but they're leaving us are going to be retiring. That is Rococo Rose, um, Terracotta Tile, Pretty Peacock, um, Seaside Spray, and mm, Pretty Posies or Poppy Posies or something. They didn't make a stamp pad for that posy color. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I don't have the posy. It's it's like a light uh I almost said grape. It's a light purple color. So yeah, so that's the ombres. We're going to be using that today. Okay, let me get that out of the way. All right. This is a very trendy card right now. I think it, they're calling it a pocket card. Um... Let me get out my sample so I can look at it because otherwise I'll be going, huh? What do I do with that? All right, we're going to need our paper trimmer. So you've got to have your card base, which is going to be kind of your, you know, part of your card. But as you can see, this does not fold open. We are kind of doing a single layered card but it's going to have a pocket where you're going to put a littler card in it. It's super trendy right now. You go on Pinterest and you look up, I think it's either called like a pocket card or a diagonal front card. I don't know what they're calling it. But anyways, they're all over. It is like, you know, the hot business right now. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, then we're going to need... So that's the size of a regular card. We're gonna come in with our Oso oh Ombre, and we're gonna cut this at, um, 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 the layer we need is four by five and a half. So we're gonna cut this at four. Hi, Melissa, how are you? I love when you post pictures of your grandbaby. I don't get to see my grandbaby, so I love seeing everybody else with their grandbabies. <laughs> okay, and then it's going to be five and a quarter. So it's just a quarter inch smaller than our base. This is going to get stuck directly on there. Then we're going to need these two little squares. So this is the P, and you're gonna actually get with these squares when you cut these down, um, you're gonna get another piece so you can make a, a second card. So our DSP is going, our designer series paper is gonna be cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then you are cutting this on a diagonal. So you're gonna line both of your corners up in the cut, uh, channel. Okay. So you're only going to need one. So I'm going to pick the lighter of the two. This piece here is, um, 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 um. well, it's going to be one bigger than, so this is, where am I at? Three and a half by three and a half. And I did this because this is going to be our card base. I used a uh, basic white thick cardstock because we want this to be kind of on the thicker side. I also use this in thick. So three and a half by three and a half, cut diagonally from corner to corner. Okay, so now you have to, 
you know, these two pieces that you can make on the front of another card. Now we're going to get this thing out of the way. We're going to glue this together. Get the goobies off the end of my glue. So yes, celebration ends February 28th. So you really want to get in on that so you can get some of these wonderful freebies. Okay, then we're gonna take this. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do, I was such on my rant about my, my Facebook being so frustrating today with everything getting screwed up on there that I forgot to do winner winner chicken dinner for card what were these these were like Valentine's Day cards but um these are from video number Monday Monday number 26 our winner is Jerry Califf Please get a hold of me and let me know which one of these cards you want. This is, I know I, I did planning on my behalf was totally off for Valentine's Day, but hey, it's never too late to tell someone you love them or care about them. I mean, that can be on a daily. So you choose, let me know your local so I can get these to you. All right, let me get those out of the way so they don't get goobed up. Ooh, it looks like I got glue on there. So we're going to come in with our little voila magical glue remover thing. Like I said, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this thing, but I believe that every crafter should have a glue remover just because of those reasons. I think I got it at like Hobby Lobby or there was a place up in Oregon called um, Crafter's Warehouse. Okay, so when you do this, you're, you're, you don't want to put... You don't want to put glue across your main straight part. You only want to run a little, like, bead of it across the bottom here. I mean, the two sides. Okay, just like that. And now you're going to bump it up against the very edge here. Just like that. Make sure that's adhered down well. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Let me get a drink again. All right. Your DSP here that is going to create your card for your pocket is eight by three. And then I've just scored it at the four. So you decide once you fold this in half... You don't have to score it, but I do because it just makes kind of a nicer little line there. Let me get this. Press down. Grab the bone folder. Okay, so then you decide, hmm, what do I want? This looks like it's upside down on this side, so that will be the back. This piece here is uh, three and a quarter, but, or no, hold on, er, rewind. Um, this is, see, I wrote down the wrong dimension. So, hold on. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. See, I wrote three by three. I knew that wasn't right. Okay, I will have to fix that. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is going to get adhered to that. This 
This is Blackberry Bliss to go along with our also ombre celebrations freebie paper. So that little piece back there is Blackberry Bliss. It just goes beautifully with that paper. Then we need a little piece of white, which is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. That is going to sit right inside of there. But first we want to, we want to stamp on that because heaven forbid I shove that in there and I mess it up because we may need to cut another one. On the front here, I'm going to take this out for a minute. We're going to stamp. You always have a way of making my day. Okay, I just had my Memento ink pad. There it is. Okay, and that's my foam pad underneath there because since we're using photopolymer, we need to have a cushion underneath it. Beautiful. Oops, sorry. I know that made a lot of noise. All right, move that out of the way. Then we're going to come in with this little piece. And we're going to say, wishing you the very best. Um, you always have a way of making my day. Um, let's look at this one. That was so sweet of you. Hello there, just for you. Thank you. I think I'm going to do, let's see. Wishing you the very best. And of course, my Great Dane, his hairs are all over everything. He's a big black Great Dane. And he's short hair, but boy does he shed. I find his little hairs on everything. Okay, wishing you the very best. Just like that, beautiful. All right, let me get those out of the way. And then this little piece is going to get set on here. What might be pretty is if you come in with a little piece of this ombre and stick it on there. You can do whatever you want. You can take a piece of the designer series paper. You can take one of those stamps and stamp in the inside with one of these berries. I'll kind of show you what I've done. But since we've got three cards to do today, I wasn't going to go too crazy. Well, I hope we get to the three cards. We'll see where we get on time. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Let me grab, I think this needs ribbon up there, but I don't know if we have a color. I'll go with it. You know what? We might just, let's wrap some twine across there. This is, it comes in a pack. It's called the Snail Mail. Wine combo. Try to say that three times fast. Snail mail, snail mail, snail mail. Reminds me of that show, or it wasn't a show, but it was a movie um, with, what's her name? Uh, You've Got Mail. You guys all know them. Well, maybe not all of you. I'm aging myself now, but um, that movie with Meg Ryan, I think is who it was. Hi, Jamie. How are you? You guys got some... Oh, yeah. All of you guys got some snow. I don't know if Patty got snow. Because Patty's here in... I think you're in, what? Northern Arizona? But, yeah. 
Oregon, Washington. I've even seen pictures from Texas getting crazy snow. I'm so jealous. I saw all your pictures, Jamie, of the kids outside playing in the snow. And I thought, oh my heavens, I so miss snow. Another was one of our friends that lives up in, uh, what's it called? Bright, not Brightwood. Uh, yeah, Brightwood. Right up there, you know, going up the mountain, up Mount Hood. He lives in Brightwood and he uh, has a Jeep and he sent picture or he put pictures on Facebook of them out messing around in the snow in the Jeep. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm so jealous. But all right, so there's that. But yes, I'm jealous of you guys. Oh, you're okay. You're in Gilbert. So yeah, it's in the 70s. You know, today it was kind of chilly, I have to say. We, okay, so kind of. I guess it's not funny because it wasn't funny to me. But anyways, we have goats. We've got cows. We've got chickens. We've got ducks. Okay, so we've got this little farm out here. And um, we have moved. So right now it is, it's called kidding season. Season. So all of our female doe goats, female goats are having babies. So um, see how that works in there? It just goes there. I got to get, I don't like that twine. So I got to find something else to go on there. But that goes in there. That is a pocket card. So cute. And like I said, this pulls out. The nice thing about having the white is you can write on the back of there if this is not enough space for you to do your writing. But those are adorable. So there's that one. Look at this other one that I made using that same also ombre paper, but I used the granny apple green along with this different, um, here's that one, with this other uh, design of DSP that comes in there. And look at the inside of it. See how it has these green leaves in it? That I didn't do any stamping in, but I use that. Um, it's the ribbon that's inside of the annual catalog. That one side of it is uh, old olive. And then if you flip it, it's uh, blah, 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 pretty peacock. So yeah, that is gorgeous. I loved it with this because this almost has that pretty peacock look to it, kind of that bluish green. So I thought that paper went really well, or that ribbon went really well with that. Um, I think I made another one. Let me see. Maybe I didn't. But let me show you all the... Wait a minute, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, I fibbed. I did make another one of those. I knew I made another one because I did a stamp inside of it. Okay, here is this one. I did, that was so sweet of you. And then I put, oh yeah, we need rhinestones on these. Ooh, yeah, don't forget the rhinestones. Eek. This is our um, crinkled, what is that called? It is our crinkled seam binding ribbon. This is an awesome ribbon because hmm, it's white. I can color any color I want. I just take either my, um, one of our sponge daubers and I ink it up in my ink pad and then I just lay this out and rub my ink down it. Or what I do, since I have my blending pins, I just use my blending pin and I just rub it down, you know, the edge of the, the uh, ribbon. So look at this one. This is the flip side of this paper. So I tried to use each one of these, the flip, you know, side so you can see. Look at that. <laughs> I put the little berry there. <laughs> I thought that one turned out really cute too. Okay, so there's those. Let me see if I can find, uh, I'll do it later. Oh, hold on a minute. What did I see here? I just found some, oh, these, these opal rounds. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I like those. We're doing that on this card. Because if that card's not sitting there, I mean, you can kind of see the purples in it, but when you bring in that, that Blackberry Bliss really grabs the little purple speckles in that iridescence there. Okay, so our take a pick tool. I don't think I've ever showed you guys how cool this tool is. This tool comes with two of these heads. This opens up like this. This unscrews out of here. When you've used all the gumminess in this head, they, this comes with it. So for the price of all of this, you get all these pieces. I have not included any extra pieces. Okay, so that stays on there. And every time you want to bring up more of this goop, like say that gets gross, you can 
pick that off, squeeze this a little bit and more will come out of there. Okay, so that's that end. Also, we have a um, die cutting brush head. I don't own it because this is one that I've had from the past. It, this part would just unscrew and it screws on here too. So then it's all kind of a all in one tool. And it's, so that would be used for your intricate die um, cuts or your intricate dies. When you get those little pieces in there that are hard to come out, you just roll that over it on a piece of like this foam and all those little pieces come out. This side, there's a little um, lock and unlock. So you would take this lid off. This pops. So to go in, it locks it so then it doesn't come out. Turn it, open it up. You have both of your styluses on here. Two different sizes so that's great for scoring so say if you ever lose your scoring blade out of your um, trimmer or if you have a trimmer and you don't have a score blade on it like our trimmer comes with a score blade okay if you don't have a trimmer that has a score blade on it you can take this and run it down the inside of your um, scoring arm here and you can score in that with your little stylus things, scores, whatever. I don't know what they're called, but I call it like a little stylus thingy. I don't know, they're weird. Okay, then you also get this thing that has this little pokey piece in it where again, you can poke out your little pieces of um, intricate die pieces. And then you get like this little weird spatula thing, which is, you know, kind of handy for picking up um, your stamps like your big rubber stamps that once you put your um clear sticker on the top sometimes they really get stuck i'll have to show you um sometimes they really get stuck on the uh this the case that you can just take this and just kind of just pick it up otherwise you're going to rip your foam against your uh blah, 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 your pet your stamp and kind of mess your stamp up so we don't want that all right, so I'm gonna come in with this, enough gabbing and gabbing. But I wanted to show you guys this because I don't think I've ever, like I, I, I use it, but I don't ever like really stop and talk about it. Imagine that, because I don't ever stop talking, so. Okay, I'm gonna take that, take that, and then I'm gonna take a big one. Look at that, how that grabs that purple out of those little, those are called opal rounds. Those are in the new JJ mini catalog. And I think, I don't know if, oh yeah, here's the number, 154289 for those. So a lot of our products, obviously this isn't going to have something like that on there, have um, product numbers on them again with like our let's see if this has it oh, of course I'm gonna knock everything down if I pick it up our gilded leafing yep 154560 see right there on the barcode so if somebody has something and you're like oh my gosh I can't find it in the catalog try to look around for the barcode and typically it will have the product number all right so isn't that cool with those on there all right we gotta get moving okay Here's another one of those berry cards that I made. This is another one of those papers and then I paired it with the green. I've used the, these are also inside of the uh, annual catalog. They are called holiday rhinestones. They are one five zero five or four five seven. And I know they're in a different color. Those are Knight of Navy, but I thought it really went well on this card. This color here is uh, Misty Moonlight. And then that's the inside of that card. And I love how this opens. So it's not like a traditional card. This one here, super easy. I've used that uh, texture. It is called the Do -do 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 -do. Tasteful Textiles. I've used that across here. It's an embossing folder. And that's kind of got some dimension. I've popped everything up. That's the inside of that. And this is called Pacific Point, this blue. 
So as you can see, you can use pretty much any of these blues with these papers. Okay, so there's that one. This one I love. I think I'm gonna use this for my challenge this coming up. Again, we've used that Pacific Point. I've got the real red in the back and then two four by three pieces of paper that are just sat side by side. I used the punch. I used all pieces of the punch for this. I stamped the strawberry, cut it out, same with the leaves, and I did the second generation stamping with those. And then um, the little stem and the flower. Actually, you know what? I didn't do second generation because I used black. And then I used black as my main stamp. And then I used the colored uh, real red. And uh, I think this was garden green. That's what I used on those. And then there's the inside of that. So just to kind of show you some more ideas that when you, you look at those papers and you're like, eh, I don't know what to do with that. Well, I try to give you some ideas so you're not stuck in limbo going, oh my goodness, now I have this paper. Now what the heck do I do with it? All right. This, my mom says, is probably one of her favorite cards right now. All right, so let me stick that over there with those. All right, we're going to need a scrap piece of uh, uh, basic white. And it doesn't have to be thick for that one. We are going to be using the layering circles. Oh my goodness, I did not show you guys that I got, oh and there's a hair inside of my shirt and it is tickling me and it is bugging. I got the, oh, I got, can you guys see that? I got the big boss. Ho ho ho, look at this guy. Sorry, that was a big loud snap, but look at that and when it's filthy because of dust with animals. Oh yeah, I need to finish telling you guys my story about my animals, but yeah, there's the big boss, beautiful. So anyway, so today I went out, um, it's kidding season, so I have goats dropping babies out there, and uh, one of our, our boar goat, which is a meat goat, she um, was my, uh, or no, I think we bought her at an auction, but my son showed boar goats, and my oldest daughter showed boar goats in 4-H, um, but when um, we bought one at an auction to help support you know, us and a friend went together to help support 4-H and we bought one of the um, auction goats. Well, when we first got her, we got her so she would drop babies and then the kids could return, use their babies in fair. Well, that didn't work out very well. She didn't get pregnant and that, yeah, that was, that bombed. But she's had one baby since then. We named it Squash because her name is Pumpkin. And then we, uh, so she got pregnant again. She just dropped three babies today. She dropped two little dolings and one little buckling. One of the little dolings didn't make it. It um, got stuck in the birthing sack and it um, suffocated, which is sad news. But I mean, it is, it's news, but sad. Um, and I feel bad for her, but it's just kind of the way it is. Life course. Um, and then... Then we have these two bucks that we got from a previous kidding and we had them moved. They were separated so they would stay away from the girls because we kind of don't want ugh, any more babies. I can't keep doing this. Not only because, you know, kids grow up and, you know, you got to keep feeding them. They're expensive. I love them when they're babies because they're cute as can be, but they get big and they get, you know, hungry and they eat more and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, we moved the boys out a while back or a couple days or a couple weeks ago, moved them to a different pen. Well, they decided they didn't want to be away from their girls. They have decided to completely jump over all the fencing in our yard to get to the girls. So today I walked out there, they're fighting. The one has kind of like some blood on his face because they were fighting. And so I was like, uh-uh, this is not going to happen. I cannot watch them hurt each other because they're fighting over girls. So we need to completely move these goats. So we went out, fenced, you know, the rest of the back part of our property and moved the boys out there. They can still see the girls. They still, you know, can socialize with them. But we had to really build the fence up high. <laughs> so it was no joke. They can seriously jump like crazy. I was like, are you guys, you know, kangaroos or are you goats? But yeah, they are crazy. 
And now that they're back there by themselves, they're not smelling the girls in heat. So they're, they're a lot better now. All right. This card stock is, uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay. We're scoring. We're not cutting. So score. Now I can see like this bump pokes out. That is going to be the inside of my card. So I'm going to kind of fold it like that. So I know this is my front flap. This is my inside. This is my back here. I'm going to cut one inch off. I know that sounds goofy. Why is she cutting her card? But just watch. I'm going to show you. Okay. Do not get rid of this piece. You need this piece. So now this is one inch by five and a half. You're going to now take this and score it on three and a half. Patty, can I get that through you? Yes, you you talking about this item? I think you have catalogs. Did you ever get the catalogs that I sent you? If you got the catalogs, it's in the annual catalog, um, which is the one that runs for the full year. It's the big one. Um, let me tell you what page that's on. This is the annual catalog here, and I believe I sent you, I think I sent you all those catalogs. Um, let me tell you what page. It's called the Take a Pick. Oh, there it is right there. Take a Pick tool. It is right there. This is page 159. This is what you get with it, okay? Or right there. This is what you get. You get that. I call it those stylus, I don't know, embossing tool that I showed you. You get the sharp piece, which the other end looks like the spatula, which is on here right now. And if I take that out, it's got that pokey piece right there. Um, you get two of these heads right there. You can order extra heads if you want. You get two in a pack. And then there's that little roller brush that I was telling you. And then those are the foam pads that, oh my goodness, there's a hair on me and it is bugging. Um, this is what I was talking about with rolling that little brush over these to get those intricate pieces out. That screws right in here. Like you would just take this piece off. That has little, you know, a negative positive. You just screw that back into here. Okay. So yes, that is absolutely available. It is ba 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 ba. The take a pick is $10. And like I said, you get all those pieces. Um, you can add the, these are the putty refills and you get, those are three fifty for the two of them. And then that head brush, uh, you get two foam pads plus the little brush is $9. So yeah, there it is. Absolutely. Not a problem, Patty. All right, so like I said, you're going to score that one inch by five and a half at, uh, what did I just say? My goodness. What did I say three and a half? Yep, at three and a half. Okay, you're going to need this piece, so just kind of set it aside. Now, this is, okay, we don't need this anymore. Get that out of the way. And everybody needs a paper trimmer, and I have to tell you, that I'm kind of biased towards that Stampin' Up! one because it does have the scoreboard. And I own a bunch of different scoreboards that I have bought in the past, and none of them score like that tr paper trimmer does. Just saying. Okay, there's that. Then we need the white inside piece, which is our uh, four by five and a quarter. That is going to go right in the inside there. But before we do that, we have our DSP pieces here. This is, you know, the flip side of this. This is one, I have it upside down. This is one inch by uh, five and a quarter. This is going to go right inside of there. 
But before I adhere it down, I'm going to do my stamping because, like I said, I don't want to mess anything up. We are going to be using those super cute chicken. Hey, chick and hey, birthday chick. We're going to use this for the other card too. But look at how cute those are. This was back when I was doing Stampin' Up! in 2017. This ran as one of our celebration freebies. They've brought it back and they've created dies that go with it. Aren't those the stinking cutest things ever? Look at like this little baby chick that, okay, it's in that one. But look at that little baby chick. That one is made with the little dies out of the Hey Birthday Chick. Look at that little chicky. That's what it makes right there. Is that not stinking adorable? And then this, you get all these little pieces of corn and the little corn husk. That is that. That's the little corn piece that you put together. And then here's the whole corn stock. So then when you cut it out, you put these on there. Just like that. All of these images also have dies that cut those out. And somebody came up with the cutest idea. See this little egg? This little egg cuts Okay, so here's a prime example to show you this spatula. These are our red rubber stamps. They have, we adhere a sticker to the front, just like this. It lines, I've, I have a video that shows you how to do that. You're going to take your little spatula and you're going to kind of just push underneath it like that so you can bring that up. Otherwise, if this gets stuck so far on there and you just keep pulling at the red rubber part, you will pull that sticker and that foam away from each other. And you don't want to ruin your stamps. You've spent good money on your stamps. Keep them nice. Okay, so this little guy here, this, well, it would look like that, but this cuts this out. But somebody came up with the idea, you know, goldfish, the little goldfish crackers. If you turn this sideways, it makes the most perfect little goldfish cracker. So cute. I don't just had to share that with you because I thought that was adorable. So look, it comes with like the little chicken coop, the little chicken fence, um, a stump, a sign. Super cute. Okay. Then this one comes with a little fencing, the sack of feed, this little die that says happy birthday. Then you've got like the chicken feet um, in the dirt, a little bow. This is like um, a banner that could go across the uh, top of the card, like a birthday banner because this is the hey birthday chick. You've got um, some great little birthday sayings in there. And I've got dog hair all over this stuff. Oof. Okay, so I am going to use for the inside of this, um, I think I'm going to use the You're Still a Spring Chicken. So that take a pick tool is truly kind of like a like holy grail of tools because it does a lot. Okay, this being a red rubber and already having foam in between it, this you don't have to use your this foam padding underneath it because you already have the cushion to take your your, your image down perfectly. Okay, there's that. Okay, now we could adhere this little one inch by five and a quarter piece. Down the side of this. My son started back at in um, person school today. That kind of freaks me out. But since we've already had COVID, they say that we're kind of more on the immune side of getting it again. But I don't know, it just still kind of freaks me out. I worry about the teachers not I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be affecting young people. I mean, it, it can don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to I'm not a doctor. But um, you just hear about it more affecting the older People and we've got teachers that are kind of older and principals and that kind of stuff, which we just found out, which this is really boggle, mind boggling why they open schools back up. 
that our superintendent for like the state of Arizona was just, she just came out and told us that the last week of January um, in this one school district here locally, and I'm sure Patty, you've probably heard of this. Hi, Melanie. Um, that six staff members of this one school district died the last week of January. That like, whoa, mind blowing. I was like, what in the heck? And you guys are talking about opening schools back up again? Like, I don't understand what, death doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it just kind of threw me for a loop. And they're like, oh, but schools are opening back up next week. Dur, dur, dur. So, I don't know. I'm funny like that. I, I care about, you know, people's lives. I, 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 I don't know, but whatever. Okay, so then we're going to take this piece, which is three by five and a quarter, and we're going to attach that to the front of this. Yeah, it freaks you out too. I know, right? Yeah, Corbin, my son, just went back um, today, and it, it does. I was like, wait a minute, isn't it President's Day? I kept telling him, I was like, dude, you don't have school today. And he's like, no, mom, really, I do. I go, no, you don't. Like, there's no mail. It's like, a, isn't it a federal holiday? Apparently not. I don't know. Um, But he's like, no, mom, really, my ROTC teacher said that we need to bring our gear because we have to dress down today and we have a PT um, training that we have to do and da, da 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 So I was like, okay, well, you know, we have to drive you over a half an hour to school. You better be right. Otherwise, you're paying for gas. <laughs> so... And the, the weirdest thing is they sent a letter back or they sent a letter out. I want to say the like end of December telling us that school was back in, but never have I heard another thing. Oh my goodness. I just screwed up. See, I get talking and screw things up. Hold on. Hold on. Whatever you do, don't adhere that piece down yet because you're going to do what I just did. And you're going to have to pull this up. Good thing I have another one of these that I can give away. Okay, wait a minute. This piece, hold, hold, hold. Pause, stop, stop the press. I'm going to cut some of this off. Hold on. Okay, watch. Let's see if we can get this in here without completely destroying that. Okay, well that would be, okay. You see what I did, you got it, okay? That's not beautiful, but I'll show you the beautiful one when I'm done because I made the same card over again. But I just kinda wanna give you, do not attach this piece. Do not sit here and talk and not pay attention to what you're doing because you're gonna mess things up. But hey, we have good things to say, right? We all want to know what's going on in each other's lives. Okay, so that would go like this, but this would get bumped completely up against that piece there before you, before you attach it. <laughs> I'll make sure that when I write the card recipe, I emphasize that you need to attach that first. But okay, moving on. All right, so we are going to take this cute cutie 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 little chicken here i love how she's just like dancing on one little foot we're gonna stamp her on this and maybe i didn't get a big enough white piece because i don't know if my circle is going to cut that oh yes no maybe hold on yep it'll work all right we're gonna come back in with Hello, my friend. Are you guys freezing, Miss Jamie? Your kids go to school in Mesa and have been in school for weeks off and on. I didn't hear about what you were talking about. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's, it's weird. I... I don't remember the school. There's a school district somewhere. I don't remember. Kathy Huffman, Hoffman, however you say her name, is the superintendent here in Arizona. She like runs the whole overseer, director. I don't know what she is. But um, let's cut this out. 
out of this circle dies or circling layers, I'm going to take this one right here, which is the one, two, one, two, three, four, like the fifth one from those circling. Look at how many you get of those. This is all one set that you get. You get all these circles and they all layer in between each other. Um, I've already cut the other two. I took one of the scallops and then I'm going to attach the, the red one to it. And then I'm going to get this guy cut out. But Kathy Huffman came out a couple weeks ago and was talking about um, how one of our local school districts here in Arizona in the week of December or the week, uh, the last week of January, 10 or five staff members died in the last week of January. I don't remember what school district it was, but she was talking about it and it freaked me out. I thought you're talking about staff members dying, but yet, come on, let's open schools back up and let these kids, I mean, like I said, I'm not so worried about the kids as I am some of these older teachers that we have. Like, that's not fair. I understand they have to do their job, whatever, but I, I don't know. They think because if they, you know, now that the vaccination is out, that, but it, 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 I don't know. That's still not foolproof because if people haven't had the full or the second dose, they're saying that you're only at 40, because my dad just went and had it, that you're only at a 40% coverage um, with the, the first dose. And then once you get the second dose, then you're like 95% covered. All right. So I just covered, co or covered, I just cut out that little circle. Super cute, right? Okay. I'm going to come in since we've got some reds in here. I'm going to come in with some real red. And I'm going to color in his comb. And then I'm going to do a little bit of red on the end of his feathers here. And I am using the, which one am I using? The dark real red. I'm also going to come in with his little, I don't know what that's called. I call it his little giblet. My kids show, um, not only did they show goats but they showed chicken at fair and you would think that I would know the names of these body parts on chickens but nope hey I didn't show them why should I know it <laughs> okay I'm gonna do that then since this color here is called bumblebee we don't have bumblebee uh we don't have bumblebee um marker uh blends so I am going to come in with this Mango Melody. I think it's probably the closest to what we've got going on here. So I'm just going to take the, oops, that's the wrong end. I'm going to take the dark Mango Melody and I'm going to just kind of go over the little tick marks here. Um, what did you say? Okay, my daughter wants to stay home. The staff is all vaccinated that we're willing. Yeah, I I don't know. It, and then they just said that they just came out with like Johnson & Johnson just came out with a new. Because um, like my daughter's therapist still don't come in the home or anything. Because my, um, my youngest daughter has Rett syndrome. And uh, right now none of her therapists, I, I don't want anybody coming into the home. It's even hard because since my daughter um, has to have blood draws for her um, ketogenic diet that she's on. It's really kind of tough for me to make the call. I, I know that the doctors are all saying that Caden's already been exposed because we all had it and they're pretty, they're probably like 99.9% .9 positive that Caden has had it. She just didn't have any, you know, effects of it, which is amazing. And which was so scary to think, you know, when we, before we got it, we were like petrified that, oh my gosh, if Caden got it, you know, it could be devastating for her. Now I'm going to come in with the, um, oh, I'm going to come in with the light and, uh, go over this. 
but hold on, because I did his head there, I'm going to kind of darken his head up a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do the top of his head in the dark and then kind of like bring the lighter color down. Um, so yeah, so I was, that was one of my biggest fears about, uh, this COVID thing was my daughter getting it because she's already kind of compromised as it is that I didn't know how it was going to affect her body. I was watching, you know, other rep families that we have on Facebook and watching when they would say that their daughters would test positive for it. I was really like watching what they were saying about, um, you know, the effects that their daughters were having. And, and yes, I, we did lose a couple of our girls and it is heart wrenching, but for the most part, our girls actually withstood it quite well. Um, there's always that, those few that, you know, with like anything, but they've actually, you know, recovered right quite well, but you know, it's always so sad because you get on Facebook and you do read about our girls passing and it, it's kind of a tough thing because it really hits home, but you know, you just got to, again, try to make light of your situation. And I, I don't tell my daughter, you know, about the other girls passing away because I don't want my, I mean, my daughter is nonverbal, but I don't want her having to have those things going on because she is still smart. She still has a mind. She still thinks. Um, I don't want her to have to think about death. I mean, yes, it's real. Don't get me wrong. And she knows about death as far as like our animals and that kind of stuff. But I don't want my 11 year old to have to think about, gee, I might die. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all of us think about, you know, we might die because it's very real. But you know what I'm saying? I don't want her to have to think about that. Okay, so we're going to add that there. All right, then I'm going to take that crinkled ribbon and I colored it in the real red and I am going to attach that to this little one inch piece here that I messed up and didn't put underneath the tab. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to attach that like that. Cut off some of this excess. See, and my son's been doing the online and it was actually doing quite well. I mean, I know it's hard for when kids have things like ROTC because he is in high school that he's not getting, you know, the full benefits of what ROTC would be because he's not there running, you know, doing his workouts or whatever the heck they call him. Okay, that needs to be moved down because you want that to be kind of more down by the yellow. Okay, you're going to take some glue and go across... But yeah, he's been, I mean, he's kind of, he's almost a straight, complete straight A student. One of his grades, like his, um, what is it that he's getting? Physics or something, he's getting a C in. And he's so upset and distraught about the fact that he's getting a C in this because he prides himself very much on his good grades. But I told him, I said, you know, it's not the end of the world. You still have time. Just recover it. Know that whatever you did then, don't do it again. But, I mean, I don't harp on him about his grades. I just, I don't. I know he's always been a very um, grade-conscious person. He knows that it's going to affect his future and the things that he wants to do in his future. Um, there for a while, he really had this, like, go a uh, gung-ho. He wanted to be a cop. Well, as a mother, that's scary. So, I was kind of pushing away towards being a cop. But it's his, it's his you know... His call, not mine. That That's his career. Okay, so there's that card. Isn't that cute? Okay, let me show you the other ones that I made. Like I said, I made another copy of that. So since I screwed that up, if you are... The, here it is. See? And then I even put a little red bow on there. I forgot to make the red bow on this guy, but... Yep, same card. Very cute. Um... So yeah, that's that one. I'll have the dimensions on 
the blog for that as well. Look at this one that I made using the flirty flamingo, the Bermuda Bay, and then this crazy, I have some of these chickens outside actually, they're called Polish, and they have this crazy hairdo up here. I actually have one that is um, Polish, plus she, uh, he is a naked neck, which in other words, his neck is completely naked. He is what, he's, what his name is. But he's got a crazy pom-pom on the top of his head. But yeah, this is super cute. I love the colors in this one. This is, again, that same designer series paper. It's called Flower and Field. Or, yeah, Flower and Field. It's also a pack that you can get on Celebrations. It's a $50 um, set that you can get. You're still a spring chicken. But aren't those colors just so vibrant and beautiful? very bling kind of in your face pop open for spring all right what time is it do we have time to do another card how long have we been going here we've been going for an hour um let's let's do this last card because it is really cute and i'm really wanting to show off these chickens because mm, i just think they are so cute let me get this one put in here Okay, let me get all my pieces out that we need. Okay, we're gonna need scraps, all that good stuff. Okay, I gotta move all my little recipes and ingredients around so I know what I'm doing. Let me not lose that. Kind of pick up a little bit of this stuff so I know where I'm at when I go to find something and it's not where it normally is. All right. This is a four and a quarter by eight. Okay. We're going to bring in the scoreboard. Okay, we are going to score this at, okay, you could either make four score lines or I'm going to make two and two because it's just, it's just easier for me. So I'm going to do one and a quarter. And at the two and a half mark. Okay, so one and a half, or one and a quarter score, two and a half score. Okay, now flip your card around again, and we're doing this on the eight inch side, and we're going to score again at one and a quarter, and two and a half. Okay, this is going to go like this, like this, like this. So you're gonna fold those two pieces in kind of like a Z, just like that. Yeah, I would love it if you guys hit that like button down there. Just that helps with the algorithm of these videos that you know helps me out a lot especially since I've been having technical troubles with Facebook and videos and stuff okay so that's gonna stand like that not sure what this is called but maybe a gate I don't know then you're gonna need a piece of um, I'm using uh, old olive and this is five and a quarter by one inch. This piece is going to go across here as a bridge. Okay, this card is going to stand up like this. I know during Christmas time, I think I made a couple of cards on our Monday Monday. Okay, this can get out of the way. Now I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper because I need a piece of scrap with doing this. Okay. Oops, knocking my lights all around. This right here, I have cut 
from it is from the so much happy set it is one of the dies that this little die right here I've laid it on there and I've just cut it out and I did this on thick cardstock thick uh, basic white because I'm gonna keep this this is going to be a guide for me then I need this piece here is three and a quarter by four I'm going to make some clouds on here we're going to need what did I do with it we're gonna need one of our beautiful most fuzzy softest things on earth our blending brushes I could sit there and just touch that thing all day long I know I'm weird um, seaside spray because that is the color of our paper here I'm gonna use this as a guide and then I just kind of stagger this around helps if I kind of do it towards myself Okay, then I just kind of start off the edge and then just start swirling it around. Okay, and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it. Okay, I guess it doesn't need to be flipped. I'm just going to move it kind of further to this side. I don't need it you know crazy dark can you guys hear my daughter yelling in the living room <laughs> she's like I want back in with mom okay see how that works and then now I'm gonna flip it because I'm gonna come up over here to this side okay and then I'm gonna only do kind of like that and then now I'm gonna move this Kind of underneath here because I don't want it looking like I just kind of sat it on there you know where it kind of is staggered around kind of like that so see where you can kind of see a little bit of the bump there and it just has to be subtle. It doesn't have to be a lot of ink. You're not using, you know, tons and tons of ink, but you're just getting enough to make it look like a clouded effect there. Actually, I need to come down just a hair more. Shoot. See, that's the hard part is when you get so far down and you have nothing to hang on to. Then you come walking out of the craft room and your fingers are all different colors and your husband's like, what the heck? Did you get in a fight with ink? Oh, sure. And I hang on to this. I do. Because it is now a template for, you know, for many more cards. It's not like that color is going to come off. It's now on there. Okay, so that's what I've done was make those little clouds. This is one of those colors you're going to want to get a hold of. Make sure you buy yourself a reinker also because it's going to be going away. And once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, we can get rid of our scrap now. We're gonna cut one inch off of each side of this. Okay, there's one inch. Now we're gonna take it over here and cut off another one inch. So just turn it around. All right, so now one inch, one inch, and now this is two and three quarters. Perfect. All right, this is now going to get laid inside here. Well, you know, it's kind of become our life where we're all working from home because do you know how much I want to go out 
and teach people how to make these cards versus sitting in my office and having to show you guys over, you know, this thing. Because if you have questions and it's hard to put into words because sometimes you're like, oh, so how does that do that? And I'm like, huh, what are you talking about? It, it It's just what it is. And, you know, we want to have these be live. We want to be able to interact with people. But, you know, it's not, I don't know, it, it's, it's a really tough call. I've thought about, you know, maybe deciding to just have a few people come over to my house, but it's tough because like us, even we could be carriers because we've had it. You, you just don't know. All right, this thing, we're going to cut a couple of our chickens out. I'm going to take that same little chicky again, just because I love her, him, whatever gender this chicken is. Okay, that's going to go there. Then I'm going to... I have all of my other blocks being used, so I have to keep using this one block that I have. Because, like I just said, I, I joined a swap with my other demonstrators, fellow demonstrators, and the card that I'm making uses a couple different stamps, the one that I made. Um, so, they're all on blocks. Because since I'm making so many of them, because it's a huge swap going on right now, I have to... Melanie, did you join that swap? Because I know you're a demonstrator too, Miss Melanie. It was the one that... Um, it's on our pay, our, uh, uh, bah, 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 our group page. And I know how well you do with our swaps because Miss Melanie Foy is... Um, the winner of one of our uh, challenges that we did on uh, one of our Facebook things with our demonstrator group. So she she's quite knowledgeable about how to do the... Okay, we need this little guy to cut out this. Look, Patty, you got me to get the uh, washi tape back out. And not that this is an ugly print, I just, I would probably never use it for anything. Because I've never really known what to use washi tape with. Am I the only person in the world that just is confuzzled when it comes to washi tape? Probably, because... <clears throat> I see people using it, like, on scrapbook pages and stuff. And it is beautiful the way that they do things, but my goodness... If I could do that, no, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, that goes with our card. We are going to need this piece here. I'm going to try to cut a couple of these at the same time so we're not completely taking up your whole night. All right, I'm going to do this little barn. All right, and then let's do, we're going to need that for that. Um, let's cut these two out first. all around all right so we just cut out the barn and that was in the real red and then we have our two little chickens here this one little birthday chick is just adorable it's coming out of the little egg shell And then we're going to need the green little, okay, so set that chicken there. Where did I put that other chicken? 
I know cutting these things out are time consuming and it's kind of a dauntful thing to have to sit here and watch, but I want to show you guys the full effect of, you know, these stamps and, and dies and stuff. All right, I'm gonna need this yellow for the happy birthday. And I don't need this big of a piece, so I'm just gonna kind of tear some of that off. Get the happy birthday down there. I think we're done with the red. Um, crumb cake we're gonna need to come in, but we're gonna need to do it a couple of times. So, and then, Do that again in just a second. Okay, let's do these really quick. I know I probably should have had these cut out ahead of time, but like I said, I want to show you guys how neat these dies are. Oh, that's the other thing. If you guys are watching this on YouTube from the replay, um, once we hit 50 subscribers, I have a really cool giveaway that we're going to do. So just to let you know that, even if you go over to the YouTube page, which is Stampin', let's see, where's my other tool? It is Stampin' the Pink Barn, or Danny Garola, you can look up either way, my name. Okay, we're gonna need the happy birthday. And then we got to cut out a couple more of these. And then since I have that there, I'm going to cut out this stock. What does that mean? What does subs mean? I don't, I don't follow. Look, we already have one little piece of corn there, so now I don't have to make as many. But I'm going to make two more. And I just had that little yellow piece. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Because I need to do oh how many do, subscribers do I have right now to um, YouTube well since I just started the YouTube up I think I have like maybe three four or something like that because I've never been one to do the YouTube thing and my husband is He's into filmmaking and all that. And he was telling me, he said, you really need to take these videos that you do and pop them over on YouTube because there's a lot of people that kind of don't like Facebook anymore and would prefer to go to you uh, to the YouTube and they'll just watch them because then they can rewind it. You know, things like Facebook Live, you don't get to rewind during this viewing if you want to hear certain things over again. So he said, he goes, you really need to be moving them over there. So, um, yeah, I, I just got that up and going. There are videos from past where, you know, I say like my old business name and that kind of stuff, because since this has been oh, just making me nuts, but I'm not going to get on that rant. Um, but yeah, it, the, they're on YouTube and I think if I just keep saying it, that hopefully enough people hear it and will go on. Oh, I got to do the corn. Hold on. Children of the corn. How many corns do I have? I have two. So I just need to cut out two little corn. And we'll call that good. And then I think we can get this card put together because holy moly. All right, there's my two little corns. 
And see, now with these little dies, I have to put them away right as I use them because they're the kind of dies that they would get underneath my foot, get shoved underneath my desk, and I would never see them again. And that would be horrendous because I have to have corn to go on my husk here. Oh, and I did want to take really quick, really quick. I'll do this fast. I want to take that little bow tie, cut that out really fast. Alrighty. Okay. I think we are. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. You know, that brush thing, my red piece is now stuck in my die. Oh, well, now it's not, but there's three little holes. All of our dies have holes in the back where you could either take this and run it across it and it's going to poke that out. Or you can take your take a pick tool. And like I said, that you have that little pointy thing on there and just poke right through there and that'll pop that right out. But it, it already fell out before I could get there. See, I don't know if you guys can hear my daughter. She's in the other room. Um, so she doesn't come in here and do that while I'm in the middle of a video. Um, but she, that's her communication is her yelling. And I know to some people it is quite annoying. But, I mean, we are used to it. And it's tough. She does have a um, machine that reads the retinas of her eyes. And that's how she can communicate. It is called a um, Toby Dynavox. But I know some people will hear her and they ask me, oh my goodness, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's my daughter. And like I try to tell everybody, do you know how frustrating it would be to be um, stuck without being able to talk? Like that would be so frustrating that I can understand why she just kind of yells because that's a tough one. All right, those are going to get set on there. This one we're going to cut. This piece we're going to cut also. So we're going to see where that comes down there. This piece is going to go across the front. So let's move this down just a skosh and cut that off. So this I'm cutting at... I'm going to say one and a half. This is also my, um, oh, I'm going to do one and three quarters. This is also a piece of um, old olive and it is the same size width, three and three quarters as that little white piece. Well, it's a little bit hair bigger, so not much. All right, that's gonna go across the back there. And I just screwed my little barn up. All right, that's gonna get laid down there. So let's put that in. I'm trying to go quick, you guys. I know I've been taking up a lot of your time tonight, but I so appreciate you guys being here. And sticking with me. All right, this little barn is going to get set right there, but I think I'm going to pop that up on some dimensionals because I haven't used dimensionals on any card tonight. Whoa, that's like unheard of. Oh yeah, there's that host code there. So if you do go to order any product, please use that host code unless your product that you're buying is over $150. Do not use my host code. Let Stampin' Up! give you rewards for spending money with us. All right, that's going to go there. Happy birthday. We're just going to put on some of these bigger spots. We're just going to kind of put a little bit of glue on there. Not where I make a mess everywhere. Okay. Oops. Just like that. Happy birthday is going to sit right up there. Super cute. 
All right, let's get this stock done. I just put a little dab of glue down here and then set this stock or this little corn on there. I'm gonna do one right up here. And then one right up here. So these kind of cards are time consuming and I probably shouldn't have done this for you guys, but I, I just, I couldn't resist. I loved it so much, I had to show it to you. And I have so many cards going on right now that I wanna show them all to you because, come on, they're just so cute that I just want you to see it all. Especially with celebration, like winding down and like coming to an end. It's one of those things that I want you guys to see all the product so you guys can make sure you get in there and get your hands on some of these goodies while they are here. Because once they're gone, they're gone. Okay, I'm going to put that little bow tie right there on him. Um, 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 um. Let me see. What do I need? I was just gonna look for something. I needed a bite of licorice, I did. I will tell you that. Um, I was gonna do something to him. Oh well, I don't remember now. Oh, such is life. I'm gonna come in with this light uh, Melody Mango, Mango Melody. God, I always say that backwards. I don't know what, I've got some dyslexia going on with these pen colors. Again, another thing to get while Celebrations is going is get those ink pads, the ones that are going to be phasing out. They are the, uh, let me tell you really quick, while well, I have them here, well, I have this catalog. They are the 20... Uh, 2019, 2021. Oh, Purple Posy. That's what that color is. Those are all going to be phasing out. Um, I think it's in May. Yeah, I think. So they're going to start going um, on discontinue and that kind of stuff. So get them now and grab the reinker to go with them because you know you're going to want the reinker. All right, I'm going to grab that light pumpkin pie for his little nose here and for his little feet. And then I'm going to grab that real red again. I'm going to do the light real red. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the dark real red. And we're going to kind of do a little stripe right here on his head. There we go. He's cute. Cute little baby chicky. Okay, this, this, and this. Let's get these started. Now this, I'm just going to line up against the edge here. And again, just kind of take the thicker parts of the fence. Run across. I'm going to put those kind of low on that one inch strip that I had. And again, that is one inch by five and a quarter. And then this piece, I'm going to bump up against there. And we're almost done. But I have one more sharp card that I need to, not that we're going to make. We're not going to make any more cards tonight. We're good. I have another card to show you, though, that I've kind of done kind of this same little hoopla here. Um, 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 um. Snips. Snip, 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 snip. All right. So my mom finally decided to name that little goat that was outside that I was getting on her about naming. She decided because our theme of our goats are... Uh, 
Disney characters. So she decided that she was going to name that sweet little baby out there. Uh, what did she name her? Bambi. And she is very much a Bambi. She is so cute. All right, this is going to get glued on here now. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a dollop of daisies. Okay, a dollop of, of uh, whatever this stuff is called. multi-purpose glue okay now we're gonna come over here and do the same thing I'm trying to get those even even Steven all right just like that okay so then that stands like that is that not super stinking cute oh my goodness now, this little stem here is just going to stand there, down the side. I love it. Just like that. In my end frame. Okay. Then, we're going to put... These little chickens on here just like this okay let me get some dimensionals really quick for this guy this little mama chicken okay I'm just lining this up knowing where to put my dimensionals on this chicken so when I go to put it on I know my dimensionals are going to touch the blue part and not hang over because this card even though it doesn't look like it can actually go in a regular envelope you just push it to the side like that and it lays flat in an envelope all right and then this little chicky is just gonna go down here on the bottom so cute All right, just like that. Isn't that adorable? And seeing I would have to, I messed up on my ends, but I'll make another, I have another one made, so. Look at there, so cute. And look at like the dimension on that. You can add, cut this out in um, like soft suede or uh, what's another color? Early espresso. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you, the other card really quick. Look at this one that I made. Look how you can do that same thing with that barn. That's what I was talking about, is take this, cut it out again with uh, early espresso, and then cut the little pieces out and make it look even more dimensional. I've taken that stock and did it again, but this time, instead of laying these flat, I pop them up. Again, this is the Oso Ombre. This is the, uh, the, the uh, brr, what's it called? Granny Apple Green, and this is the Bermuda Bay one. I took the little pieces of corn and I made little clouds with it. I took the little chickies and I popped their little wings up. And then there's one little egg walking behind Mama. So, yeah, have a happy day. So, yeah, so these are going to be one of the three cards for the winners. There's that one that I didn't mess up. So, <laughs> there's going to be that one, this one. And where did our little purple pocket card go? Just like that. But I think I got to fix this. I don't like this white ribbon thing up here. I think I got to do more layers of that. But I'll fix that. So there you guys go. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Please like, share this video, share this video, share this video. It gets more people seeing me, helps me build my business, um, also helps you guys be entered in the giveaway, which you guys that are watching right now have already been entered because of you guys commenting on here. Also, um, don't forget, Celebrations is ending February 28th. 
use this host code if your um, purchase is going to be um, under 150 if it's over 150 do not do not use this host code I want Stampin' Up! to give you the benefits and the rewards that they have to offer all righty guys have a great week I will see you next Monday since I have three cards here it's gonna take me a little bit to um, get these all photoed edited da 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 da, -da. Um, so I will try to get them on the blog by like mid-afternoon tomorrow. Okay? Okay. I will see you guys next week. And don't forget our paper pumpkin uh, thing is coming up on the last Thursday of the month. Which, oh, wait a minute. I have one more shit thing to show you guys. Look at this. Look what Stampin' Up! sent me. I just made it to my silver accomplishment. So they gave me a little title advancement uh, button that I can put on my apron when we go to in live classes. I just thought that was so cute. Um, no, what uh, our paper pumpkin live? I don't know. It's the last Thursday of the month, and you would think, oh, wait a minute, I have all these little calendars sitting here in front of me, and I don't even know what the date is. It would be the twenty fifth at 6 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Yeah, it, it, it's it been, I've never made it to silver. I've always been um, bronze elite, but I've never made it this far. So kind of exciting. I mean, I guess, you know, some of you who are demonstrators have made it there quite quickly, but with things going wrong with me making business names and screwing them up and knowing that other people have bought the domains to them and yeah. So this will be the last time this name will not change. It will be stamp in the pink barn. I bought the domain to this name. It is mine. I own it. So we shouldn't have any problems. Now it's just getting it fixed on Facebook to get the I in connected back to that stamp because it says stamp in the pink barn right now. Dang autocorrect. So I've got to wait seven days and I will get that name fixed. But everything else, the blog is, you know, it's a blog address. So it's all connected. Um, Pinterest, it looks just like this. Uh, what else? YouTube, YouTube looks just like this. So yeah. All right, enough chit chat. I have taken up enough of your time and I appreciate your time so much and your support. Have a great night, you guys. Bye.